Okay, it's makeup time. It's time to do Nico. All right, let's get started. Okay, great. I'm bad at intros. Always before I start, I usually put in my contacts, and these ones for Nico are EOS Candy Pink Lenses, which I got from Pinky Paradise, and I got them in my prescription, which is always super duper duper nice when you can do that. I started in the wrong order with my CoverGirl liquid foundation, which I already put on my hand, before I realized that, wait, I'm cosplaying, I have to use my special cover-up first which is my Conceal All RX in the color Soft Green, which I just got from CVS. It's about $8. A little bit goes a really long way here. So I use it just to cover up the red areas and the dark under eyes. I know I need purple or yellow to cover up my dark under eyes, but it still works out really well. So I use that green on my nose and under my eyes, and then I go in with my liquid foundation and a nice little sponge, and I cover that all up, and it gives a really nice, even coverage. And here I'm using a lot more foundation than I usually use just because I'm cosplaying an idol and anime characters have always flawless skin so I pack it on really heavy here but you always want to make sure you blend it out so you don't look like you're wearing five pounds of makeup. So just blend it out nicely, do what you like to do and make sure it's obviously in your color of your skin so that helps a lot. The blush I use is the color Tango in Hikari Cosmetics. I use this very heavily for Nico, just really apply that to the cheeks because she's this precious 17 year old girl that is an idol. I use way more than I usually do when I go out. And I apply it to my elbows because idols and anime girls. To set that all in, I use my CoverGirl Clean Pressed Compact in the color Creamy Natural, same color as my liquid foundation. And that just all sets it in there and makes sure it stays. And it also tones down the average pinkness of what's on my cheeks, but you can still see it because the uh, pigment on that is actually really good. So I really do like that. That was me trying to find my cap for my concealer and I found it. Then I go on with my NYX Crystal Shimmer eyeliner and I just go into the corners of my eyes and a little bit under my eyes. It gives me that really nice young youthful look and it kind of makes helps my eyes look a little bit bigger and close-up shots then with Nico that are really really nice. And there's my e.l.f. shadow lock eyelid primer. It only costs about two or three dollars at Target and I swear by that stuff. It is so good and very necessary for someone if you're somebody like me who has oily eyelids and it's just completely necessary. Moving on to eyeshadow, I have the Star Studded Shadow Book by Kat Von D. I did the top part of my lid with the color Banshee, and I used it as a highlighter. And then all over my lid, I used the light purple color Violator. Just get that all in there, make it look really nice. And of course, here's the Kat Von D trend. I'm using the ink liner in the color Trooper. It is always my favorite liner. And I do it in a different way, not the cat eye look that I usually do. I draw the line straight out. It helps give a little bit of the effect of the Asian eye kind of look, which I obviously do not have. So it helps make my eyes look a little more doughy and a little bit more youthful. And it also serves as a really nice line to follow when I go back in later and add in my eyelashes. My mascara is Lights, Camera, Splashes by Tarte. It's usually called Lights, Camera, Flashes, but it's cute how they change their waterproof name of it to Splashes. And I always use waterproof anything that goes near my eyes just because, once again, my oily eyelids. And I like to add it on first before I put on my eyelashes because then I can reuse my eyelashes and they aren't covered in mascara. The eyebrow pencil I use is Brow Wiz by Anastasia in the color Chocolate. I usually use a little bit more, but my face tells you right here that I'm actually at the end of my rope for that. So I used it to fill in the corners and just make my lines a little bit more sharper. Not entirely a drawn on look. If that's what you like, that's totally what you can go for, but I try to keep it more as a natural idol thing, as natural as I can make a cartoon character look. And then I'm going in and cleaning up a little bit with my tweezers because I just found a couple little stray eyebrows that needed to go. So we're doing that. Making them pretty. Get that unibrow. Oh, girl. Get it. Get it. Mmm, so good. 
It's not my favorite eyelash glue, but I use Duo Eyelash Adhesive in Clear White. It's really easy to get a hold of. The problem I don't like with it is it just takes a really long time to get for it to get tacky, which you will discover throughout this video that I have a lot of problems with getting this stuff to get tacky. It takes a long time for it to get tacky, and you have to hold it on your eye for a while. It's not as forgiving as other eyelash glues. It's not. Yeah, the door sucks. Wow, Is it? Nice. Way to go. Oh, look at the baby. He's going back to sleep. Now you're all in the background of my video. Yay. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, hello, video. Background video? 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 I'm doing eyelashes now. Oh, thank you. You just put it cool. down. Those are pretty intense eyelashes. Jesus, Lord, baby, help me. So here I am continuing with the constant struggle that is eyelashes. I use my tweezers a little bit. I'm still perfecting actually using tweezers, but it helps for me to hold it on and get it there first, and then I swoop in with my other hand and just hold the whole thing down on my eyelid and, you know, have a conversation or something. You know, talk to your friends. See how they slept. Get to know your roommates while you pray to Jesus that your eyelash is gluing down. Hit it! Look how long this is. Yeah. You have to... You see it. Oh, yeah. You'll see here that I have a little bit of lifting on the one end of my eyelashes. It's something I can go in and fix with eyeliner later. It's just a little bit not entirely straight, but when cosplaying, it's easy to fix. Hello. Why does the glue smell like seafood? And here we go, attempting to do the other eye. Always a constant struggle. The struggle is real. Why is cosplaying so hard? Good God. Why? See, I'm really, even with double speed, it seems like a really long time for me to try and get this lash tacky, but it's okay. See, I've noticed the lifting now. It's something that you can go in only really when you're cosplaying characters that, you know, have big eyes and stuff is when you can use this little trick is where I just go back in with my eyeliner and I color in and make just the eyeliner line thicker where my eyelash is so you don't actually have to know that I messed it up and no one has to know except you know now and now everybody knows but you can make mistakes into happy little thing accidents that work out for you so that's nice. I am lifting in the corner. <laughs> it's lifting. It's raging. You know what? How about fuck you? How about you suck my dick? You deal, Brando. <laughs> no, it's just a nickname. No, Mr. Dio, I, I just really like horses. horses. It's not Mr. Dio, I just really like horses. <laughs> Will you give me a ride? <laughs> a whole Dio, horse. I love horses. No, if I ask nicely, would you let me take a ride? Take no, Mr. Dio, I just really like horses. <laughs> I just love <literally> like... <laughs> How about you suck my dick? Oh, that's my favorite. Still continuing the eyelash struggle. I'm using my tweezers to help try and set that down a little bit more. I added a little bit of glue directly to my face and held it down on top of that glue. You have to do it a little bit longer because obviously it doesn't have the time to get tacky. And you just hold it there and you pray a little bit. Come on, eyelash. You're being a dick. You're being an asshole. I'm just sucking dick. That'd be uncomfortable. Eyelash. <laughs> eyelash. <laughs> eyelash blowjobs aside, it really should suck my dick because they are horrible. Stupid dumb. Stupid eyelashes. And here I go fixing them with my eyeliner, which is very much so suggested. Well, I meant to Joe, Joe, Narancia. Narancia. Whatever how you pronounce this. I have no fucking so be clue. Italian, so I think it'd be Narancia. Yeah, yeah. So it would be Narancia. But Narancia. That sounds delicious. Whatever He's the fuck that is. He's an orange. He's an orange. 
I'm an orange. I'm an orange. Good. An orange. Weenie Hut Junior. Weenie Hut Junior. Weenie Hut General. Here's the outro right now. Yeah.